A Danish artist was given thousands of dollars by a museum to reproduce one of his works of art. Okay, it's an older work of art that they wanted him to basically, you know, do again for the for the museum. Now, instead, he actually ended up pocketing the money and called it a new conceptual artwork. He titled it Take the Money and Run. So here are the details Hilarious. and we do have the image for you in just a minute. So the Kunsten Museum of Modern Art in Northern Denmark originally commissioned Jens Hanning to recreate two of his earlier works as part of their Work It Out exhibition. The works which were initially showcased in 2007 consisted of two canvases encased in glass that contained the average income of Denmark and Austria as real banknotes. Sounds intriguing, like super into it. Now, um, Lass Anderson, a director of the museum, said that the museum did lend this artist 534,000 Danish kroner, which isn't that much in US money, $84,000 to recreate the works, but that it had contractually agreed that the money must be returned when the exhibition ends in January of 2022. When the museum employees opened the two packages from the artist, the $84,000 was nowhere to be found, okay? Now, let's actually fast forward to what the art ended up being. It ended up being two blank canvases. Genius. And he titled it, Take the Money and Run. <laughs> Which I think, A, he's a conceptual artist, it's he's a, doing his thing. It's a concept. And B, how is this not modern art? This is modern art. This is exactly modern art. In fact, it's one of the best modern art I've ever seen. <laughs> because usually it's like orange and it has no meaning. And he's like, I don't know, what do you think it is? No, <laughs> yeah, no, like, it has the meaning that you decide to apply to it. Yeah, well, I could do that at home. <laughs> it's not art, okay? Whereas this actually is art. He's saying, you made the mistake of trusting me with your $84,000. And now I gave you two blank pieces and go, well, what am I gonna do, right? No, but seriously, look, the whole world is talking about it. And it, it has started up an interesting conversation. By the way, the museum has an excellent point, which is, as I was reading this story, it was a roller coaster ride. I'm like, good on you, bad on you, good, on, wait a minute, okay? The museum says, look, this is a combination of private and public money. And the money was supposed to be put into the canvas. We're not paying him that money for, as a, as, for the, what we commission for the yeah, art itself. Yeah, it's supposed to be, okay, all right, I, I just, they say that it was supposed to be the materials mm -hmm. in order for him to recreate that art that he did from 2007, right? Right. I, I don't know, I'm not an artist, I'm not an artist, but like really $84,000 it for materials? Like what is this? No, is no, I think he's putting the money in the painting itself. Oh, that's why. Oh, okay. Right. All right. Yeah, it's he's not supposed to go and get like, you know. I was like, like damn, man, that canvas. acrylic, I'm that like, that's acrylic really paint can get real expensive. <laughs> right. No, right? No. No. Okay. All right. So, that so makes way more sense. Okay. Whatever. It's stupid. Um, were they gonna pay him though? Like, was he gonna get paid to do the art? So yeah, he was gonna get paid about thirty nine hundred dollars, and he said, "Damn, you got into the nitty gritty with of, the story." Of course, okay. okay. I'm, right. I'm reading a half a dozen articles about. It. You know why? <laughs> because it's an interesting story. It he did interesting. interesting art, right? And so they say, "Look now, some of that money is public money. You can't just steal it and not put it into the uh, painting as you said you were going to do." And he says, "You guys are paying me too little, so I just took it." Okay. Hey, plus it's part of his art. Oh, right? I love that. Okay, <laughs> now at first I thought the same thing Anna did. That's why I read so much into it. I'm like, eighty four thousand dollars is too little, brother. Man, you got. I don't know what's going on in European countries, but you guys live in large, right? I know for real. Yeah, but it turns out no, that's supposed to go into the painting. The thirty nine hundred is his payment, and he's like, agree to disagree. Now the payment is eighty eight thousand dollars or eighty seven thousand nine hundred. Now. On the one hand, you gotta give it back, don't you? I mean, it's a loan. Do you? Okay, but do you? It's got a Bonnie and Clyde feel to it. He delivered. Where, and he stuck it to the man. But I don't know that he intended this, but I like his meta critique of modern art, whether he intended it or not. Mm -hmm. He's like, look, it's all BS anyway. 
What difference does it make if I put the money on the canvas or I don't put it in? You're all talking about it, that's all we care about. And it's created a kerfuffle. Okay, can I give you a direct quote from him? So mm -hmm. this is a direct quote from the artist Jens Hanning. He says in regard to returning the money, he's like, no, it, the money does not have to be returned. The work is in fact that I have taken their money. <laughs> that is my work of art, the fact that I have robbed them. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. but by the way though, that also is a statement. And it's a statement that does resonate with the times. Because the reason why this story has gone viral all across the world is because every one of us is in some ways going, Atta boy, right? Why? Because we're all getting screwed by the man. And so when this guy, in a sense, fights back mm -hmm. through art and says, no, just take the money and run, man. We're all sick of it. That's why people are like, go get him, right? Yeah. And so it, it resonates more than anything else I've seen in modern art. Maybe in my lifetime, let alone certainly in the last couple of years. Yeah, look, the only hang up that I have is the fact that there's public money involved. However, you're right in that this has led to publicity and has informed the public of the very existence of this museum internationally, right? Yeah. We're here in the United States and all of a sudden I'm talking about the Kunsten <laughs> Museum in, in Denmark. Like, okay, maybe, maybe next time I'm in Denmark, I'll visit. Okay. I just uh, want to see that. Thing. I just want to see that. Exactly. <laughs> it's fascinating. $7,900. But we actually want to ask you guys what you think about it. Okay. So we have a poll on this, tyt.com slash polls to participate. Were the artist's actions a legitimate form of art or just straight up theft? Yes or no? Very easy, very easy poll. Yeah, and it's, it's a tough one because I really want to answer both, right? It kind of was theft and it kind of was legitimate art. And, and which then makes it even more art. By the way, the museum director, he's also conflicted. Obviously, he's really heard about it. Yeah. And, and here's, an, by, by the way, here's could affect your vote. And this was the last part of the roller coaster for me. He's like, look guys, people might get fired if we don't get the money back. And I was like, oh, uh, damn it, don't say that, right? That gets rid of the pro worker angle, you that's know what right. I'm saying? That's right, that's what makes the story so interesting. And so, um, uh, but but the director was like, it, it kind of is art. It's kind of good, <laughs> right? Yeah. And they asked him, would you work with him again? He's like, if he returns the the money we gave it to him as a loan, <laughs> I might. <laughs> or he might have said, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.